Middle of this pandemic, you wouldn't assume that entrepreneurs would think it's a great time to start a business. But as Chris Schuler found out in Northeast Wisconsin, business owners are still chasing their dreams. At Aurora's Apothecary in downtown Green Bay, its owners sell homegrown herbs and teas at their recently opened location. We have teas, tinctures, salves. A space they leased last fall and invested $30,000 into during the pandemic. A stressful decision, but one they are happy they made. Definitely, it's on everybody's mind. Uh, but we just chose to uh, have faith and push forward and... Uh, Hope for the best, right? You just got to keep on keeping on, and um, we felt like we had to move forward. And these business owners aren't the only ones feeling that way. In 2020, regardless of the pandemic, business development kept pushing forward. We've seen on the existing businesses side um, 24 expansion projects. Those 24 expansion projects resulted in over $3 million in um, capital. Um, put into the local economy and uh, represents over a thousand jobs. Matthew Key from the Greater Green Bay Chamber of Commerce says from 2019 to 2020, new business registrations were up 26% and he thinks that trend will continue. There's a, a, an energy of hope that uh, we are seeing in 2021. That's a tough, tough one to quantify. Jeff Merkus yeah. feels it too, based on 11 new business developments within the old Main Street and downtown districts. The largest one is Nicolay National Bank. Uh, they recently acquired their entire building and uh, developing an entire floor of that space. Growth that will add to the city's tax base, coming at a time as the nation slowly starts turning a corner. Entrepreneurs have dreams and they are unique beings. Entrepreneurs in general, the ones that I speak, me and my, my, my team and I speak with, are optimistic uh, for what 2021 will bring. You got to have a little faith that it's going to be all right, you know, and push forward. In Green Bay, Chris Schuler, Local 5 News. Mercus says the development he sees is at restaurants, hospitality, corporate space, and residential properties.